Good morning. Are we live yet? Are we alive? Are we okay? Good morning. Is anybody there apart from me? Come on, all on the bus. We're going to the tulip fields today. We are. Come on in. I know you're there. I've already been checking. <laughs> Come on, early to the party. When you get on a bus, do you go to the back of the bus or do you stay at the front with the driver? Where do you sit? Or do you sit somewhere in the middle? Do you like to sit by the window or do you like to sit by the aisle? Come on, <clears throat> we're on a bus trip today. We're taking a little excursion. Come on in. Good morning. How are you? It's great this pretending to go elsewhere, isn't it? It works for me. I've got quite a, a vivid imagination and I think a lot of you have too, judging by, judging by your comments and your, it's great, I love it. Come on in. Tulips today. It's quite warm um, in here but it's cold out there and it's overcast and it's a bit um, miz, dank, you know, like damp, rainy. Not very nice. Not very nice for June anyway. What about where you are? Where are you? We've got lots of friends from uh, across the water, you know. There are loads of our friends who join us in the Shack Shack from, from France and Belgium and the Netherlands, from Holland and Deutschland, from Germany. So hands up, all you good people across the pond, across the water, not the pond, the channel. Come on, where are you? Um, it's nice. It's nice, Holland. Has anybody, have you been there before? We, we, um, we went there quite a lot when, when we were kids. And then I think last year, last year or the year before, when I was doing QVC, um, when I was doing QVC TV in Germany, Dusseldorf is where their headquarters is. And, and so we used to take the run through Holland because it was the it was the best way really to go, and um, and so we used to spend a lot of time. We used to get through Germany, do the job, and then get back into Holland and go and have a lovely time. And we visited lovely towns. Leiden was my favourite. Leiden was gorgeous, and I, I we would really like to go back to Leiden. Yeah, we liked we liked Holland a lot. Okay, so come on in. Let's have a look. I want to know where you are. I want to know where you'd sit on the bus. I want to know loads of things today. Me on the bus, I tended to always go upstairs to the back. With the, yeah, upstairs to the back. It says it all really, doesn't it? <laughs> Except when I was in the, um, in the school orchestra and, um, and I played the cello. Bloody thing. It's huge, the cello. And the bus driver, because I went to Fort Pitt, which was the, in Rochester on the hill, and he used to lug this cello up and down this hill. And then sometimes if the bus driver was out of sorts or the bus was too busy or crowded, he wouldn't let me on the bus. I know. So I had to walk up Chatham Hill. And anybody from the Medway towns, from Gillingham or from Chatham or from Luton, will understand that could... That, that's a really gruelling walk from Fort Pitt to the Star on Watling Street with a, I nearly said piano, <laughs> I like to exaggerate, with a, um, with a cello, you know? Yes, so, but, so if I did get on with the cello, then if, if I was lucky, he let me stand at the, at the front with bloody thing, yeah. And because I was left-handed, because was I left-handed, I still am left-handed, it was quite challenging, the whole cello thing. Overall, it was challenging. So I, I gave that up as a bad job after two years. <laughs> and then the neighbour came round, in cheek, he came round and said that, told my dad that there was something wrong with the pipes. <laughs> that was me practising. Yeah, so mm. Dave's the musical one in this house. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. 
Good to see you. 10 o'clock. Good to have your company. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And you know, even if I don't comment or because I can't see the comments, afterwards, when I have another cup of tea, I do, I do look back at what you say and uh, so be nice. <laughs> Steve's in the building with you today and so if you have any questions or if I say anything and you, you're not sure what I'm talking about, then ask Steve Ellen. He will, he will guide you and he will direct you. I, uh, oh, I'll tell you what I did want to flag up, a couple of things. Um, you know I blog every day, right, barbaragrayblog.com. So I blog every day and uh, on Monday, I thought, oh, we'll have a bit of, it's called blog candy. For those of you who don't do blogging, it's called blog candy. You give something away. You give away a gift voucher or, or, or something, right? And so I thought, right, I'll make a card and we'll do a twofer. So two gift vouchers. So I'll show you because this is comical, actually. Let me show you. So I made this card with these stamps. You'll recognize the stamp, oh, fellow doodlers, because, of course, they're from the Shack Shack, aren't they? So what we started doing is um, every now and again we'll make a set of stamps to commemorate the Shack Shack. And uh, so we did this one and we did the hot air balloon, which is really nice. And, uh, and coming up oh, in a couple of weeks' time, we've got the geisha and that lovely one, let the sun shine in, those two. But um, so let me tell you, so on Monday, on the, on the, um, on the blog, I, did, I said, right, I'll give you a £20 gift voucher Clarity gift voucher. If you can email me, barbara at claritystamp.com, the ingredients and the instructions on how I made that card. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? Like I've already told you which stamps I used. Okay. And then I was looking at it, I thought, ah, that's pretty straightforward. So then I thought, I know what I'll do. I took these, I took these words, all things grow with love, and I wrote them out, and I said, I'll give you an to the person who can make as many words the most words out of these words, right? So, all things grow with love. Put them all those letters in a, in a bunch and to the person who can make the most words out of all things grow with love, I'll give you a, another 20 pound gift voucher, okay? So I thought, well, I better do it. <laughs> this, this is unbelievable. I thought, well, I better do it just to make sure, you know, what, what we're expecting. So I got about 40 and I thought, that's pretty cool, <laughs> 40, right? And then, and then Beryl Shepherd, our friend Beryl, she went and put 80 on the, on the page. I was like, no, Beryl, so I got, I hid them quickly. So I thought, well, that's easy. Anybody can go in, copy, paste 80, add one, Beryl's SOL. So I thought, right, well, hi, Beryl's, right? And then I got the first email in, okay? I won't say how many. Beryl, no chance. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> Barbara, I would recommend, right, you've probably got far more chance of getting, um, winning a gift voucher if you go for this, if you go for the instructions on this. I think the odds of your winning are greatly increased. I think the odds of your going for the wordsmith one, <laughs> unbelievable, okay, unbelievable. I, I'm not going to check it because I, I haven't got that much time. But uh, yeah, astounding. Okay. But if you want to, if you want to play along, it's just something to do, isn't it? It's something to give the husband to do. Okay. Um, but if you do want to play along, then all you need to do is write down all the words that you can come up with out of all things grow with love. Mm -hmm. and, and then email them to me at barbara at claritystamp.com that's it okay and go to the go to the blog barbaragrayblog.com and and have a look at have a good look at the card okay <laughs> gotta be in it to win it haven't you so there you go another load of distraction during this unpleasant time and this horrible weather now now we have to stay in can't go to the beach in this not really really can you Right, are we ready? Have you got your tea? Come on in. Five past. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Right, ready? So we're in the Netherlands, we're in Holland. 
and wow, your windmills are so good. Your windmills are so good. And so what we're going to do now, let's have a look. Should we get started? Are you ready? Because I thought yesterday it was nice because we, we inked the windmill, didn't we? See? So we inked the windmill. And then I didn't have a very good night. I was awake half the night. And then I thought, I know what I'm going to do. Today we're going to do the tulips. Some of you already decided your windmill was so big you're going to have to move the tulips to the, to the side. That's fine. But I thought... I know what I'm going to do. This is what we're going to do. I thought, what about this? Rather than make a great big scene, a great big landscape, I thought, I know, we'll make panels. This will look so, so pretty, right? I'm telling you this now because if there's a panel banging in the middle, you know, you could, you could overlap your tulips. It's not a problem. You just have to go around the back of your go around the back of your thing that would look lovely as well right but this is my thoughts on it I thought we'll, we'll cut this off here so we've got the windmill we've got the la the countryside and then I thought we'll go countryside town so that's what we're doing tomorrow is town uh, and clogs right so but this is this is the cutoff point so the first thing you want to do really is cut is let me check, check out the ruler. Right, I want to show you something. Centimetre ruler. Right, I know I'm, I'm teaching you to suck eggs here. But say this is the outside and you want the absolute centre, don't you? <coughs> Excuse me. So you could measure from this end to that end and you could say, OK, so it's, it's 19 and a half, which means it's 9 and 3 quarters. Right, so then you go in here and you measure to 9 and 3 quarters. Or you take the ruler... It has, a set, it has a zero point. See the zero point? And then it goes outwards. On this line here, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you want to know where the center is, right, then you can, you can look at the outside on here and you can see if the 10 and the 10 are in exactly the same place there, then you know that's the middle. And then you just make a little mark. You see what I'm getting at? So you come up here and you're looking at this line here and then the 10 and the 10 shows you exactly. So then you go to the center, this sweet point, and then you make your marks. And you make one, two, three marks, and that will give you your exact divide. So you're, you're crafters for the most part, and you will know how to get a bar in the middle. And even if, even if your windmill cuts over, it doesn't matter, but make a bar in the middle. It will look so nice. I can see it in my mind's eye. When it's done, it's going to look smashing. See, and then what I did was I made some more. Can you see this all right? I made some more. Um, let's have a look. I made a really nice, a really nice button there. That one took a little bit of working out. Then I put my tulips in. Made a couple more buttons in that corner. See, so that's that's where we're headed. You see, and then I I went up the up this side with the weave, and I'm going to come down the other side so that we've got a double rope in the middle. Double rope in the middle. I think this is going to look smashing. And I'm I'm kind of ha holding off on on putting. I mean, we could do that side now with the penning, right? We could certainly pen this now, and we could pen that. But see, I was holding fire with that because I wanted to make sure they'll get it in the right place. Right, so are we ready to go? Uh, okay, so I think, first things first, I'm going to take my, I'm going to find my centre piece. Find my centre. We're all doing this together now, aren't we? So you you work it out. Yeah, it's 19 and a half. So we're just going to make sure that it's always in the same place. That's the main thing, isn't it? That it's that it's the same. This one's slightly different to the other one. So, so let's just make sure that it's exactly right. 24 and a half up there. So it's about there, I think. That's it. That's about right, I reckon. That'll do. Okay. So we're going to go halfway like that. I reckon this is a bit 
wonky, but that will do. Right, so we're going down the middle. That's my halfway line. That's my divider between the two. I'm going a bit heavy so you can see it, right? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my, my rope. I'm coming in on this side. Uh, that's the center. So I want to come in and I'm going to give myself my cable. For my cabling, I'm going to give myself two lines either side of my, my panels. I think this is going to look really arty. Right, see? So now I've got my panels to do all my cabling. And I can go along here. If anybody missed the cabling, along here, it's just, it's simple. Between the two lines, take your time. And you just go, it's like a little hill. Go like that. See? So you go in there, like that. And then when you get to here, I st see I'm going to put a lovely big, a big disc in there. So I've got a couple there. In fact, should we do the disc now? Let's just get it in, in place. And then we, when we put the tulips in, we've already sorted this out. So where's my rubber? Oh, I can't, I don't know how we would do this without a rubber. You know, like we say, we, we have to pencil it first. So we know that it's in the right place, don't we? Now, what did I draw around? I think it was a 10p piece, wasn't it? Was it a 10p piece? What did I draw around? Where did I put that? Here it is. There you go. So I drew around a 10p piece. Let me just check. Yes, I did. See? So I drew around a 10p piece for this beautiful big coin, right? And then I put circles around the outside. Should we do that? Come on. We'll pop that one in there. So have you got your panel? Everybody all right? <clears throat> right, I'm going to put it up, up a little ways, like so. And bear in mind, I'm going to put circles around it as well. I'm going to put little, little pearls around it. Right, that's that. OK, that'll work. And then around the outside, quite big big pearls on this one. Look, see I did quite big. Let me show you up close, see if you can see it. I mean, you can make your own buttons. Golly. Make your own coins, make your own discs. But quite big around the outside. Let's do that first. Then we do the little tiny ones on the inside and then we'll figure out what on earth went on in there. Right, ready? So let's do this first. I like this. Right, so. And can I make a suggestion? It's just a, a little tip. When, you, when you're doing things like this, um, just go lightly like that. So you're not even touching the paper. Look, I'm going around, but I'm not even touching the paper. And then when I've got my eye in, then I go down and I just, then I go again, hardly touching the paper. And then when I get my, get my rhythm going, then I go again. See? And then it's going to be better. Then I go again, I get my eye in, make sure it's the right thing. You can even rock a little bit when you do it. But the idea is that you, you, you kind of levitate a bit with the pencil. We're just using the pencil, HB pencil, see? And then that way, see if you press too hard, you're going to spend more time rubbing, rubbing out what you do. Whereas this way, I mean, I'll rub out that line because I don't, it's not, it's not, it's not supposed to be there. See, in this way, you can see, right, make sure you're not getting bigger and bigger as you go down. Um, okay. So you just go around the, go around the outside, making the pearls, all the discs. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back up to the top now. So that otherwise, what's going to happen is they're going to be bigger. Let's go back to the top, because that top one, the key, do you remember the keystone, the one in the bridge? God, it seems like ages ago. So there you go, round we go. Easy. Just, you see I'm left-handed, can't you? I'll whistle around that side. Ha <laughs> ha, not funny. Okay. Cool. Right, so I've done all the way around there. Have you done that as well? 
And then I know that I can, now I can close up my, my cable, see? Now I can do that. And then I'll bring the cable in from this side. Let's have a look. That's it. So around we come, we just tidy it up. This would be nice. When we get to sh put the shadows in on this, it'll be delightful. Just got to give it time. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? That was a bit bigger than that one, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. It is what it is. Right, and then on this one, doodle, doodle, doodle. What we'll do on this one, now we're going to go around the inside, but we're going to use tiny little, tiny little pearls. See? There, you see little tiny ones? Let's build up a nice, a nice thing, shall we? And then we'll get on to our, this is just getting our eye in really, isn't it? Before we get to the tulips. Are we all on the bus yet? A couple of stragglers. There's always somebody that's late when you go on a bus trip, isn't there? Hey. I am. Um, I like travelling on the bus. It's, yeah, I enjoy buses, don't you? My mum's a big one for bus trips. There we go. So round we go. So the thing about Ho Holland or the Netherlands, when we used to travel to Ostfriesland, because I told you I was, I was born up there, you see, near Wilhelmshaven, in a little village called Zande. And so Ostfriesland is um, it's very, it's, it's very like Holland, it's very flat. And it's very, you know, the, you know, the, Fries, the Frisian cows, the bony black milking cows. They're, um, they're everywhere, bony cows. Right, ready? Let's have a look now. We'll go from above so you can see what, what I'm actually trying to achieve here. So the idea is here that we're going to make two circles. Let's try it. If that's the centre, let's just put a little tiny dosh, a little dot in the middle for the centre. And what we're going to try and do is make a, like a, a curve around. So you go that way there. See, so let me make it a bit wider like that and then we'll turn it round and then I'll go I'll do the same thing on that side like so right so really all you've done is you've gone that way and that way it just gives you something to start building on okay let me show you from here just gives you something to build on let me just show you the pattern we sorry about that see so you got in the middle, that's all. Okay, so now we've got that, and then what we'll do is, on the inside, we'll make, the, we'll make some little dots again. So we'll go in like that, and we'll build a, a curve on the inside of that one. Mm -hmm. Turn it round, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's see if this is going to work. It's only a button, it really isn't. Yeah, okay. So you see you've got your, you've got a kind of a, like an eye almost. I'm going to take that dot out there. Take the dot out. Okay, that's quite nice. See, and then what we're going to do is we've got two halves. And what we'll do is we'll use this half to make a, like a little leaf, a little leaf. Pretend that this is a metal. Pretend that this is like, you know, a metal button. You see? So what you're going to do now is go from here to here. The easiest way to deconstruct this is to just go right through the centre to the top like that. So you've got one line going that way. That's the base. This is the base. It's going right up to the top in there like so. Right, And then when you get to there, in the top, just so you get your orientation, put a leaf. Just put a leaf at the top and then you'll know that's the top like that. So it's quite nice to do doodles like this. Right, and then when you've done that, 
we're going to do leaves all the way down and we're going to get them to touch almost to the outside so like that okay and then we'll go to the other side then we'll come this side we'll alternate them so they're not sitting opposite one another but they're actually sitting alternately you know leaves that you know what I mean all right so you go like that like that turn it again keep crunching my artwork it's going to look like a right shambles when we're finished right another one there so it's not too busy is it and then as you come down they're going to get a bit smaller there you go rinky dink okay that'll do like that nice disc nice doodle you know if you this afternoon or if you fancied it you could take a piece of paper and you could take a 10p piece and you could just design a load of beautiful different discs couldn't you just go for it just they're like little miniature artworks aren't they and just design design them just do 10 little discs be really lovely actually enjoyable as well and there are no rules I don't remember ever reading a rule book about buttons you can have emblems you could have a tulip have a little animal little birds couldn't you we could put little birds in them that'd be nice how are you all doing everybody happy Everybody happy? I quite like it when it's raining outside and I'm indoors, don't you? I do quite like that. That's nice. That's very nice. There you go. And then I've got another button there that I can sort that out afterwards. It's got a little cluster. Balance. It's all about the balance. But you can see this is going to pretend, right? Get your eye in now. Bit of vision. So you've got your windmill got your tulips and then over here there are going to be row houses that's what I have in my head beautiful row houses you know like in Amsterdam and Leiden just glorious so and that's where we're going tomorrow but today we're on the tulips so let me you need to catch up with me first get that button sorted and then we'll do the tulips and then we'll see what we can ink in because the ink is the chill isn't it the ink is the chill time should put my Dame Edna's on, really. Okay. Right, come on then. What's the time? It's already 20 past. Oh, can't believe how quickly it goes when we're having fun. Right, tulips. Let's have a look. There are some basic shapes. This is not, not... There's no rule book on this. I can only tell you what I figured out. There are three petals three sepals and it, they're edible so there you go okay and what we want to do is work out different tu you prefer that tulip you prefer that tulip there are so many different tulips do you know how many thousands of different sorts of tulips there are whether they're pointed ones or soft round ones look they all look like tulips you at a glance you'd know what flower it was wouldn't you that's the thing it's about identifying you remember when we were, do you remember when we were talking about elephants and we were all saying, oh, we'll never be able to do an elephant. And it's like, yeah, but do you remember that fantastic cup that I always use? Definitely an elephant. And you have to own your tulip now, right? I'll give you a couple of tips, simple ways to work. Get a bit of paper. I wouldn't go to me, I wouldn't go to my masterpiece straight away unless you know, unless you're a tulip, unless you're a connoisseur of tulips. Tasty, tasty tulips. So what we'll do is we'll just have a look. So you've got, let's say we've got three basic shapes here, right? So, but what you're looking at is this cup, isn't it? So let's say, let's do this one first, right? If we just take, you've got three different things going on. They don't always just stand up like rods. Um, 
So we can make a kind of a, a U, like a U. That's it. There you go. So make a kind of a U shape like that. Let's just practice a bit. You can change it, but let's just get the basics down. So once you've got the U, right, then what we're going to do is make like two wings. So let's go from here and let's come into the centre like that. And let's meet that one there like that. There you go. That's not hard, is it? Right, so see this is just straightforward. Two paddles like that in a U shape. And then in here, there's going to be another little petal like that. So we'll do that one. Now if that's not a tulip, what is it? Okay, so you've got that one, that one. So you do your U, do your sides. And then if you want to, you can put another couple of little petals in, this, in the background. Look, depth, boom. Okay, and then if you want, of course, you've got your, you put your, your veins in, don't you? Remember? Do that afterwards. And then it's got a nice long stalk, like so. And that's it. Bit chunky, the stalk, but it needs to be. They flop a lot, don't they? <laughs> don't you find... Buy a bunch of tulips and they flop. I was looking because I was in I, the inquiring mind got the better of me earlier on. So I thought, how how can you make tulips last longer? So I watched this little vi you, video like YouTube. I didn't know this, and I've got to try it. I haven't got any I haven't got any tulips hanging around at the moment. But this lady said, if your tulip I bet, the, I bet all the Dutch friends in the building have got loads of tips on this. If your tulip starts to droop, <laughs> you take a pin, like a needle, and you put it, you don't, you just pierce if it's sort of sagging a bit. I mean, it could have gone too far, but let's just say for the sake of argument. And you pierce just under the, the head of the tulip, you pierce with a, a pin through there straight through in and out the other side and then you remove it you don't leave it in there right that wouldn't look very nice would it in the vase <laughs> all these all these pins through tulips no so you just do that right give it a, she didn't actually give me she didn't give us a time frame but it was obviously it obviously was in in an hour or two right it must have gone quite fast i can't imagine they all suddenly go all these tulips get stabbed in the neck and they suddenly go Vroom, right so I'm sure it takes a little while, but she's got this theory that if you do that, then then suddenly, and she did, I don't know, is it con or not, but all the other tulips in her vase were all stood up like rods. And I was thinking, well, he probably would do the trick, wouldn't it? If somebody came along with a needle and stabbed you in the neck, you'd probably stand up straight. <laughs> anyway... I'm almost tempted to try and find some tulips now and let them wilt so I can see if it works. But there you go. Top tip, apparently. Back to doodling. So there you go. So there's one tulip. Now, if you wanted to, so that's quite a straightforward tulip. Do you like, we have different preferences, don't we? We have different sorts of tulips. So that's that one. Or if you wanted to, you could make it a little bit more belly like belly like that so it's got a bit more of a curve like that and then a bit more of a point because some tulips they do come like that don't they a bit more pointed see that one and if you don't want it pointed you can still get the belly side the bell thing going but just take the top off just flatten it a bit see so so many different options right that's that one now the thing about this is if you take that 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 one there and you swizzle it a bit then you're going to look at it front on aren't you this bit here or this here same angle same thing let's go simple with the u again so let's take another u right so this time we'll take a u here we go again decent size u sometimes that tip that i was saying about levitating a bit until you're happy with your u do you know what i mean okay then when you've done that now, what you're trying to do now, you've got two, look, look at these two, they're both the same sort of angle, but look very different, don't they? Let's go, you pick, you pick which one you want to try. But what you're going to do is do the front thing first. So you're going to make like a teardrop that comes up like that. You can make it flat like that, 
There you go, look, easy. Or you can point it, it's entirely up to you. I'll go with a sort of a softer, flatter one, like that. See, so that's that, like so. That's that front, that's that then, right? And then we've got the sides here. Now we've got the U sides. I mean, I've gone a bit heavy, yeah, but it's quite easy to do this. I bet you've all been practicing all night, haven't you? With your... I bet your tulips are already in place and red. <laughs> <laughs> so then you see you're going to come up the sides like that there you go so that's those two like that if you want yeah and then and then you can put another two around the back if you like there you go tulip that one looks a bit ropey no it comes around like that that's it there you go another tulip the stalk gives it away there it's just obviously been stabbed this one Right, and then, you see, so then you can put your vein in again, and straight away, you've got your your, your tulip. You can make a, a, a bud, you know. I would suggest that if you buy tulips, you buy them at that stage, not at that stage. This will last a lot longer, won't it, because it hasn't opened yet. So this one is easy. We're just going to make a... A teardrop like that, a bit more symmetrical grey, like that. Okay, make a teardrop, and then, when you've done that, and cut it in half. So, so this one's got a, that one coming down like that, and then this one's got that one coming down like that, and there's the there's your, boom. It's not tricky, is it? There you go, and there's your. The, so that's your your two f petals from the side. Oh, hello. Yeah, that'll do. Doesn't, it's not always symmetrical. Having said that though, did you know, did you know that tulips, they, um, they are revered for their symmetry? Yeah. So here's the third one, just a different, a different tack on, on the same thing. We'll take that U again. Here we go. Look, we'll go down here and we'll make another U. All right, hang on. Make a U there. That one looks a bit ropey. Get rid of that one. Right, so get your U again. Okay. Cool, it's so quiet in here. I'm going to have to work out a way that we can all talk together. I mean, it might get loud, too loud, but at least, at least we'd be talking to each other. Right, and then what we're going to do is do a, a wrap around. So this then comes like that and cuts over like that, you see. And then this one cuts in underneath, like the geisha's dress, do you remember? So this one comes down like that. You can make a little point if you want. If you can't work out where the, where the, the, the overlap is, make a little dot in the middle like that. Then come in like that, go through that dot and go down. Then come to the top there and come back through that dot and go around the back. And then that one, there's your two, there's your wrap already, right? Just go through the dot. Right, so that's the first one. And this is quite a fat tulip. But there you go. They come in all sorts of colours and shapes, don't they? There you go. So there's that. That looks a bit fat. I don't like that. Let's make it a bit more pointy. I think it's going to have to be a bit pointier. That's more like it. There you go. Boom. So you're going to go like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. And there's your other, there's another one. See? So there's so many different ways to draw tulips and, and they could all come in the same bunch. And when you look at the ones that I've done in my, in my windmill picture, I've, got, I've tried them all. I, I, I did. I, I had to go all of them because so I thought, why not? There are different angles, see, different sizes. The leaves are straightforward as well, aren't they? The leaves are easy. And, and they're going to be shorter than the flowers here. To, we'll make sure they're shorter than the flowers. So, how about this then? Are we up for this? Have I got to let you catch up or are we all on track? Are we on track? What's the time? It's already 25 till we haven't even started the tulips yet. But we've had a little tulip doodle. So that's okay. Tulip doodle. We've done a lovely disc. I have got such earache. I think I've got a tooth infection. This side of my face is really painful.
chamomile. My mum, everything. Doesn't matter what's wrong, Camilla tea. Always, Camilla tea. You got something in your eye, Camilla tea. You got a cut, Camilla tea. <laughs> now I'm 61, everything goes wrong, Camilla tea. I learnt from the best. Right, come on. How you doing? All right. Yeah? It's all going to be fine. Be fine. Look how lovely our artwork is. Look how relaxed it is in here. Isn't it? Hey? Just for one hour a day. And actually, it's quite cosy. I love it when it's raining outside. Recently, when it's been really sunny, it's made me anxious. I've just figured that out because it meant that people were out running around, you know, and I thought, and I remember thinking, cool, I wish it was raining, then people wouldn't, wouldn't do that, you know. Can't help the thoughts that come into your head, can you? And I guess today I'm quite relaxed because I know that there aren't going to be loads of people on the beach, not in this weather, you know. Thorpe Park, did I hear right this morning they're opening Thorpe Park? I mean, seriously? So... You wouldn't want to go on the rise at Thorpe Park in this though, would you? And the farmers love the rain. And so do the tulips, I bet. It's late for tulips now though. Right, should we put them in our work? Should we, should, we, should we weave our tulips into our picture now? I've got, let's have a look. Are you ready to do this then? Come on, come on, it's easy. We've got a big tulip. Look, how many have I got? One, two, I've got four tulips there. Four, that's it. You might have to modify yours depending on where your windmill is. But, i just get my, my one that I inked because that's where we're at at the moment, isn't it? So what we want to do now is just get the shapes in. So my thoughts on this are I'm going to put my U's in, if you get what I mean. I'm going to put my four U's in so then I know which way they're pointing and I get my balance in. And do you know what I was saying about when, you, when, you, when you're doing the dots? You know how I was, I was sort of like going like that before I hit the page, you know? And then suddenly you get your eye in and you're off. And it's the same with the, with the U. Sort of think about it. Do you want the U there? Do you want the U there? Um, do you want it to be like that? You look, don't draw it, just pretend it. Right, and then when you think, yeah, that's about right, then in you go. Do you see? So it's a lot easier to do that and keep rubbing it out and starting again. Right, so I'm going to put like one here. That's the, this is the big one here. So I'm practicing, like I'm getting my stroke in, and then in I go. So that's going to go there, and it's going to come round there, and that's it there. Right, so that's my first U. I think that'll be nice. Then I'm going to put another one in there. This one's behind. So I'm going to make this a bit taller, this one. So this one's going in there like that. I'm going to put one in there. Maybe bring it down a little bit. I'm not going to have room for my duck. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. My bad. Forgot to turn my phone off. Hope it's not an emergency. Okay. I bet that's that person. Oh, do you know what that could be? Ah, yes. Do you remember I told you that I was going to get my dad a bicycle for his, for his birthday? And there was, a, there was a wait for it. There was a long waiting list. Well, I think they're delivering it today. And that could be them. Mm. I hope they're not standing out in the rain with my dad's bike. <laughs> right, I've got one, two, three, four, four. What do you think? Are you happy with yours? I can't leave you all to go and see whether the bike's outside in the rain, can I? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. Okay. Right, so I've got my four my four cups. 
Haven't I now? You got yours as well? Got your four cups? Yes. And now I'm going to start putting my, my tulips in. Are you cool with this? So I think I'll start with this one and I'm going to make one of those ones. I'm going to do, you decide from, from all the different tulips, which ones, which ones do you fancy? Which one do you fancy? I'm going to go with that one. But I mean, it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to make two little marks there so I know that when I come down, it's going to go like that. That's it. There you go. Tulips of Amsterdam. I am, um, so I was looking up about tulips. This is fascinating, right? You may know this already, but apparently tulips back in the day, they were the most expensive flowers, right? They were so revered, so highly revered, and they were the most expensive flowers in the 1600s, right, keep going, keep going, Papa. In the 1600s, they were, they were like the price of a house. They were, the, the tulips were more valuable than, than a, the average working man's house. And the average working man's wage, right, imagine this, they were 10 times what the average man earned in a year. Tulips. I mean, now they're there with dafts, aren't they? Pound a bunch. In the supermarket, in a bucket at the till. Huh? Isn't that mad? I was very surprised when I read that. I do like tulips, though. Do you like tulips? And, right, I've done that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the stalk in. Happy with that? I don't need the day madness. They make me feel sick. And do you know how many tulips nowadays? How many tulips? I think I'll do the front one here. Um, I mean, obviously, the Netherlands is the, the greatest exporter, producer, grower, and exporter of tulips in the world, right? And they, they, ex this is crazy, right? They produce three billion, b -b billion, not million, billion bulbs a year. That's crazy. Three billion bulbs a year. And this year, I, I my heart breaks for those growers because they've had absolutely a catastrophe this year, haven't they? Absolute catastrophe. Right, so now I've got that one in place. How about you? I'm going to put a little, on this one I'm going to make a little, make it a little bit more cuppy, I think. Yeah. I'll make it a bit cuppy. You know what I mean. Like with a little I was going to say a little tit at the top, like a little thing like that. Yeah, yeah. Nice. There you go. A little, little divot like that. Okay. Okay, so we're happy with that one. Another bit weird shape, but that'll do. And then I've got this one. Right, how are you doing? How are your tulips? This one's at the front. So this one I'm going to go... I really want to bring that one over a bit, but it'll do. It'll do. Right, so this one's going to be, I think I'll, I'm going to do one of them again, but a bit different. What about you? I'm going to do it a bit more like that, just to get it in place. That's it. And then, actually, I don't want it to be pointy, though. So I'll bring this one in. You know, every, every day when we do this, if you, if you wanted to, well, do you know what? I tell you what, I've changed my mind. I know what I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to do a front one. I'm going to do a front one. 
um, if you if you want us to send you a notification, right? That, so every I'm going to do this one, this one. I like that one. That one went well, didn't it? So I'm just going to copy that one. Uh, if you want us to send you a, a notification that um, that we've record, we've put another one of these on YouTube. Another one of the Shack Shack episodes has been launched on YouTube because we we do record them and put them there for you, right? If you um, if you sign up for our newsletter, then you, we automatically send you um, the link. So you get you get all the links. You get you know exactly where we're at, what we're doing, um, when we're on telly, any any kind of digital downloads and that that looks a bit weird. That one, any digital downloads, it all gets sent to you automatically. See, so it might be worth if you Steve, you you'll be able to help anybody that wants to wants to sign up to the newsletter ask Steve Allen because he'll be able to to do that for you he'll be able to do that right and I've got one more one more tulip here that I want to do so this one I'm going to do a front one as well I'm going to do a little front one like this bit more like her this one's a little bit more yeah nice trad that shape like that and I've left a little bit more background area so that we can yes so we put some leaves in need a couple of little how are yours looking everybody happy it's only pencil you can always go back and do it again if you're not happy with your pencil work right leaf I'm going to pop a leaf in here because I've got a bit of a gap there so I'm going to pop a leaf in there like that just through there like so that's it perfect and then I'm thinking I'll put another leaf just the tip of a leaf here like that it, oh it's a bit fat grey <clears throat> see should have been levitating a bit better right, there you go that's more like it yes 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 then we'll put another leaf in here just adds a little bit of interest doesn't it That'll do. Another tip in there. There you go. Sorted. And I think I'll put the vein in as well. Just gives it a bit more. Makes it obviously a leaf and not a... That'll do. There. They're not bad. I might redo that one. See, I was practising... I was trying this sort as well. You know where you... You're looking in on the on the thing. So on that one, for example, this is quite a good shape as well, right? So it's like a it's like an egg, isn't it? Like that, right? If you do that, and then in here you've got the the, the opening. See, the opening is here. So you've got the opening there. Then you've got the big the big the first big leaf. Oh, sorry, leaf petal here, like so. See, because this is under, so this is going to be shadowy on this side. See, so that's that one there. And then you've got the second one coming round here, for example. So that one comes round here and doesn't touch it, but it just sits, defines that area. See, so you've got that one there as well, like that. Then you've got one inside, see, that's, that's this bit. That's that bit. So, so you're building your your edge and then and then you've got another one here that's also on the inside see how easy it is so you you just got to think it through really so that one's on the outside I may replace this with one of mine I'm thinking I might get rid of that one that big thing there that looks like like a torpedo see and then and then on the outside on this edge you just get the like the the whiteness of it if you see what I mean just overlapping it like that nice there you go, and that when you put a bit of shadow in there, see, as soon as you put a bit of shadow in it, and you make it, give it a bit of, starts to look more like a tulip and less like a, <laughs> whatever it looks like. There you go, see, and then you put the, there we are. So you've got your, yeah, it works quite well, doesn't it? Bit of practice required, but they're nice, 
when you get a bunch of them I like that one better right and then you go up like that little nipple at the top so cool yeah so I've got my tulips in place have you got yours in that one looks too big Gray. I'll sort it out afterwards so yeah I'm definitely going to tone that one down definitely toning that one down um, so yeah I'll bring that in later that's fine there are no experts in this building I can tell you that's more like it yeah just a little bit not so radical cool so then you've got your your water and you've got your lovely this is nice so you can come down there like that boom isn't that nice hey okay we've got our water in there good so we've got a we've got a little while now Sh should we do the penning what do you think can we do the penning what's the time or should I go and find out if my I ought to go and see if this <laughs> I ought to go and see if me um if my dad's bike's outside in the rain oughtn't I but do you know what it's okay let's stop there right it's not a race otherwise it goes on and on doesn't it and uh, and what I think would be great is if we leave it like that and then tomorrow morning what would be lovely is um, that when we get together we can we can pen the cable can't we because that's nice that's downtime we can we can do the, the 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 tulips then that gives you a chance to perfect your tulips um, and then and then tomorrow so we'll pen that and then tomorrow we'll put the pencils in for the townhouses we'll do the pencil work for the townhouses so so don't go ahead of, well, you could go ahead, you do what you like. You could go ahead of me, you could colour it in, you could frame it, you could laminate it. It's your art, you do what you like. But we're going to, what I'm going to do tomorrow is pen what we've pencilled today and then go to the other half of the picture. And so um, have a good day, have a relaxing day. If you're looking for something to do, you've got tulips to practice and you've got the lovely discs just drawing round the pencils. I tell you what I, I did use which was really useful when I wanted to get to to do smaller smaller um, I'll just show you this because it's quite good these masks because I wanted to do a smaller one than I had a coin for and what I did was I started using these little masks these are so good see and then if you want to do you could put one like that and then the pencil you just use it like so see so I've got that one and then if I want to put the on the inside I could just take this then see what I mean it's such an easy way I mean I know loads of you have got these masks but it's such an easy way there you go so then you put the middle one in and then you add the just put that down then you go round and then you just add your line take it away and you've got your you've got your outline you see for your for your buttons so that's worth knowing that you can use these to draw around there you go that I wanted to add and so tomorrow we'll we'll come back to where we are and uh, and have another and have another doodle session at 10 o'clock so uh, don't forget to like follow and share Talk to Steve Ellen about signing up for the newsletter um, because there's other things in the pipeline. We've got other things going on. We've got, I've got plans. Just got a lot going on at the moment. So we have to take our time. There's no point in rushing it. It's one day at a time, isn't it? And sometimes it's one hour at a time. So um, let's just stretch. Let's just be glad that we're safe and healthy. Okay. And, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Thanks very much, Steve, for helping me out and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.